in this video I will talk about the two most popular models for copulas the two most popular copulas Right, the the most popular copula uh, was. I mean, the re I'm I'm using the word was for a reason. I will explain uh, in a few minutes. But the the most popular copula was the Gaussian copula or the normal copula. Right, and the Gaussian copula or the normal copula is defined as follows Find as this, where capital Phi is the CDF of the standard normal, so it's basically 1 over root of 2 pi times the integral from minus infinity to u of, of this, right? This is the CDF of standard normal standard normal distribution okay, okay and uh, and capital phi subscript 2 is defined as follows Right. This is the definition, and this represents the joint CDF of the standard of the standard bivariate normal distribution. I mean, you might have covered this in year two, bivariate normal distribution. Okay. Okay. And now this copula here. Let, let, let me put this in in a in red color here. This this is the Gaussian copula. And and as I said a minute ago, the the normal or the Gaussian copula. was the keyword here is was uh, was the most cop the most popular popular up until twenty 
2008. The reason I used the word was because you may remember in 2008 there was a big financial crisis and it affected nearly every part of the world, right? And a lot of people lost money, their belongings and so on. Now, one reason, I mean, there are many reasons why that crisis occurred. One of the reasons I explained earlier in the course, which was the use of value at risk as a risk measure, which is not a good, which is not a coherent risk measure, as I explained earlier in the course. Another reason is that the use of this copula, use of the Gaussian copula to, to model financial data. Unfortunately, this this copula, although it's, it was the most popular copula, doesn't fit financial data very well, right? This actually gives a very bad fit to financial data. So, so using this copula to fit financial data, will you will end up getting decisions which are not realistic. So, so that's another reason. That people in Wall Street and people in other big financial companies up until 2008 have been using the normal copula or the Gaussian copula to model dependence between financial stocks. And they did not realize up until 2008, they did not realize that this is a very bad model for financial debt. And they realized it only after 2008 and it was too late. Right, and there is an article that you may want to read. This article is online on my course website. I will show you just the first page. This refers to the formula that killed Wall Street. And on the third page of the article, it gives you this formula here. I don't know whether you can see this. Maybe let me zoom in. Right, here we are. This is the formula they refer to, which is exactly the same as the formula that I have just written down, right? So, so they refer to this, sorry, here we are. They refer to this as the formula that killed Wall Street in 2008, right? So hence, since 2008, people have avoided using the Gaussian copula to model finance to model uh, financial financial data right so let me let me say a few words uh, let me write a few words so financial data do not follow the normal distribution bar Hence, Gaussian copula is not a good model. for financial data. Right. And they, unfortunately, they realized this only after the financial crisis. So it was too late for many, many people. Now, one of the copulas that is a good model is what I'm going to discuss in the next slide. So, so in this slide, I will talk about a copula, which is known as the T copula, which is a good, good model for financial data, and is defined by the following.
capital T to little t okay where uh, this thing here is the CDF of the student T distribution with a degrees of freedom So this is the CDF of students T distribution, students T distribution with degree of freedom. equal to a right you, you probably heard about this student uh, in your year two I assume right and and capital T2 given by the following formula is All right, this this expression here is the is the joint CDF of a bivariate T distribution. with degree of freedom equal to A right now let me um, let me highlight the formula which uh, this one now this this copula here is is um, is being increasingly used, especially in the financial sector, to model the dependence between stocks, right? Different stocks, uh, okay. Like for example, stocks of uh, gold versus stocks of silver, uh, and so, or stocks of oil versus stocks of um, copper or uh, minerals, or so on, right? Okay, so. So the copula, which is known as the T copula, the T copula is being increasingly used is being increasingly used in the financial sector. So unlike the Gaussian copula, 
it gives good fits. It gives good fits to the dependence between uh, financial stocks, um, and it reflects the the reality, right, with respect to financial stocks. All right. So this completes um, this completes the the chapter on copulas. Now, in the next video, I shall begin a new chapter, which is called uh, Bivariate Extreme Value Theory.